In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate GPT-4 Vision into VoiceFlow. You're going to be able to upload your image. It's going to then show up. It's going to understand the amount of bedrooms, the bathrooms, and the total amount of rooms that this image has. It's then going to be able to give a property recommendation based on that. And that's all using GPT-4 Vision. Now, obviously you're going to be able to use this for whatever you'd like, but for this particular example, this is going to be linking directly with the real estate chatbot that I built in the previous video. So to build this, we're going to need voice flow, voice glow, make.com and Google sheets. Now to start this off, I'm going to be using the voice glow file upload. You can get this from the voice glow template download, which is on their website. I'm also going to link this in the description. Essentially, you can just copy this from their own voice flow template and paste it in your own project. From here, it's going to go to the file link checker. You don't have to worry about this. It's then going to go over to either continue or cancel. So if they cancel the operation, it'll just prompt them here. And if they click continue, it'll show them the image that they just uploaded just to confirm it's the right image. From here, we're going to be sending a make.com post request. Now from here, what you're going to have to do is set up a make.com uh, template. And this template will be available in the description for a completely free download once again. What this does is essentially creates a webhook. So this webhook you can use and then send the information to. That will then send the information over to OpenAI. This is where it connects to the GPT-4 Vision API. And in here, I have texted it to say, give me a JSON response with the number of bathrooms, rooms, and bedrooms this floor plan has. So this is obviously linking into the floor plan recommendation system that I built out. But obviously, you can change this to be whatever you want and get it to understand the image and get whatever data you'd like. Now, the really important thing here is that in URL, you put the image uh, variable that has come from the webhook. Now, you might have to run it once so you can get that webhook to come through. Once you've got that set up, it will now know which image you're talking about. So once that's set up, you're going to be able to get the response from the OpenAI working properly. And now what you want to do is send that response to a Google spreadsheet. So what I've done here is I've added the value from the OpenAI response, the messages.content which is just going to be the response that OpenAI gave from that image. That's just going to save that into the A1 cell of the Google Sheet. Once you've got this saved and set up, here is what my Google Sheet looks like. Essentially, the response comes through. So here's exactly what I wanted. It's the JSON response, which each bathroom, room, and bedroom that are found within the image. From here, I'm going to be able to go back to VoiceFlow and I'm going to be able to run a GET request to my spreadsheet. So now what we need to do is set up the Google Sheet API. I'm going to link a video on exactly how you can do this. It's very simple. Just follow along with that tutorial and you'll be able to get the Google Sheet API. Essentially what you're doing is you're sending a request to the specific Google Sheet and you're pulling data from specific cells within that Google Sheet. In my case, it's going to be the A1. And so what this is doing is it's pulling the A1 data and it's saving that value, those values to the test response variable. And then essentially that is it. You're able to upload an image, send that image off to GP4 Vision and get a response back and then use that data however you'd like within VoiceFlow. And so I've connected this automatically to my existing real estate recommendation system that I built out in the previous video. And that obviously enables me to upload a floor plan and then get a property recommendation off of the back of that. Obviously you can set this up however you'd like and you can build whatever you want with it, but that's essentially the general gist of it and how it works. If you do have any trouble setting this up, you can join my free Discord community, which I'm going to have a link for in the description, or you can just leave a comment and I'll respond.